We're in Barcelona for MWC25. I'm here with Abdu Mudazir. He is the Group CTO at Deutsche Telekom, but also the chair of the board of the ORAN Alliance, and it's the alliance we're going to speak about now. So, Abdu, great to see you. Thanks very much for joining us. Great to see you too, Ray. So, um, the ORAN Alliance has been around for a while now, but can you just remind us about its mission? Our mission has been and continues to be drive openness, drive intelligence, and drive virtualization. And that's relevant as it was years ago when we were founded, uh, as is today. Okay. Now, um, what is the Alliance doing right now to help drive the adoption of openness and of open RAN capabilities? I think first and foremost, very important is to drive standardization. So we push for the openness in front all, which is very important because that allows us to drive the next uh, important topic, which is virtualization or cloudification in the baseband, which is a big topic. And then intelligence, which is very critical to allow for also openness on the intelligence, rig, all one interface. This has been what we've been driving and we make it easy to integrate and to deploy. And that is the mission and we continue to try. Okay. Now, of course, in the industry now, nearly everything has got an AI angle, uh, as we can see here, MWC. Uh, how does that play into what the Alliance is doing, how it works and how it engages with its members? So I think the Oran Alliance lays the foundation for all the AI or intelligence required. If you look at what we're doing in all the AI initiatives in the radio access, it's either for AI for RAN, which requires the openness of the interfaces to allow for independent capabilities to orchestrate and run the radio access network. That's what Oran Alliance enables. Or even using AI for other kind of compute require the openness of interfaces like Open Frontal, which enables you to run the baseband in GPU, CPUs, or any other specialized hardware. And that's exactly what we do. So in a nutshell, from the foundation, the Oran Alliance had the vision to really see that intelligence will play a critical role, AI plays a critical role, and that gets accelerated now. Okay, great. So what are the priorities for the Oran Alliance in 2025 and 2026? What can we expect to see? I think what we have done so far has been amazing in driving the open front all, making sure that SMO is now standardized or rig. And all of this is fundamental. However, if we are honest, the adaptation in terms of deployment has not been where we would like it to be. And I think what we set out to do as a board is this year to say, let's address the fundamental gaps. What is holding us back in terms of deployment? I think the first thing is we need to finalize and address the performance for open front all, be it for massive MIMO as an example. And that's something we try to finalize. And second is if you want to accelerate the deployment of any new vendor ecosystem or even just a new supplier to your existing suppliers, you need to simplify the management layer. And that's why we say making sure that we have decoupled SMO, making sure that we have the recapability hardened, that we can use it. That's the next uh, focus for us this year. And third focus area will be security. There's been a very good job done by Working Group 11 and by others on defining the security guardrails that are required. But we want to make sure that they are being applied and certified and that the zero trust network architecture framework is also defined in such a way that we can apply it across the board. So these are the three focus areas that I believe will bring us closer to a much bigger deployment. Okay. Three really key areas for, for the whole industry to be thinking about as well. Abdu, great to catch up on what the Alliance is doing. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Swab. Thank you.